So my dad is the 19th um, generation white buffalo calf woman um, keeper of the sacred bundle. And we were asked to come in and um, give some words and teachings to the youth because they've been doing this for so long, um, way back when I was a youth 12 years ago and, and doing a run, they came in again and they showed us how to use protocol and whatever we did and so here they are again. It's this time-honored tradition to keep going and working with every generation because we're trying to bring them to a time of consciousness and the time of healing because we can't protect our grandmother earth unless we're healed inside to definitely connect with the energy of who she is. And so at this time I'd like to bring up my father. Blessings, greetings, may peace be with each and every one of you. It's our highest honors to be here among each and every one of you in the LA out west. Already we met a lot of the keepers of the western door, our relatives. We have a travel so far away from our homelands. A place called Hesapa, the Black Hills of South Dakota, the heart of Mother Earth. Uchimakha, Mother Earth is sick and has a fever. That man has gone too far. That has brought us here today. We come from a place where our people took a stand at Standing Rock, where over 300 flags is there right now in the front lines. We have many countries that are there. They brought their spiritual people from their territories because we are, we as a human beings, we must stand together at this time. We have many nations of prophecies come together right now. As we travel to United Nations in New York City, we met a lot of good leaders. In the early 1990s, the scientists said we are at the point of no return. 1996, 1994, the first white buffalo calf was born, Janesville, Wisconsin. We have traveled all over the world because all over the world, a lot of white animals are being born. That mo this is the only way Mother Earth, which you call, would speak to our relatives. It's through this, the white animals, because we follow the white animals. And today, we know in our hearts and our minds, as we stand up in our territories, as we stand in our ceremonial places, we know that like 1996, when we went back to the heart of Mother Earth, a place called Devil's Tower. And I hope they can change that name today. We are at the crossroads. Either be faced with a lot of chaos, disasters, Tears from our relatives' eyes, different types of viruses, sicknesses, or we can unite spiritually in this global community. And today, we are at the crossroads. Over a hundred years ago, when our elders, they made treaties, 
They said, that crazy horse said, how can you sell Mother Earth? I am not going to sign a paper. Is it spiritual or is it money? Crazy Horse, one of his last dreams. Crazy Horse to us was that he was a fierce, fearless leader. He never shed a tear. But one of his, uh, way humbly, one of his dreams, the vision. He talked about the future that someday is going to be bad. And it, it will even get worse. And that time, all nations will unite under one tree. Because a time in the future, we're going to talk about the first medicine. The second me first medicine was Ea, the stone people, this land, the sacred land was created. The first creation was Ea. The second creation was Maniwichwani, the water of life. And we came from Wakankanka. There's only one creator. All of us came from there. And as we came here, we came onto the mother's womb, the water, the Maniwichwani. When in your heart is a tree. When the child is born, the father and mother has to be there to do the ceremony. And the father you know, takes care of that after birth. On the after birth, there's a tree on there. This Turtle Island, this Turtle Island, there's a tree on this Turtle Island which all the rivers, all the creeks, and such as Missouri River, the Maniwishoshi. Maniwishoshi is uh, to us. So in our treaties, the elders said, we want that Maniwishoshi, the water of life. Because it's a part of our ceremonies that we have to pray with that first medicine, the water of life. We cannot live without that water. We must respect that. We must respect that sacred fire. In every place that we go, we know that as we come here, out here, we offer that tobacco because that tobacco is like a dimension. That offering that tobacco to Mother Earth to give us life. That Mother Earth is a source of life not a resource. Many blessings to each and every one of you, my relatives. In our way, we don't say goodbye. So I'd like to have the singer sing a song.